All right, this is the battery system for Tesla Honda. Uh, came out of a probably a 2012 Chevy Volt, and it is uh, 16 kilowatt hours total capacity and 45 amp hours, uh, capable of 10 to 15 C discharge which uh, works out to be about a thousand amps uh, briefly at least for a few seconds um, i made some significant modifications to the pack here in order to handle the amperage that we're trying to run um, i ran a two watt cable here um, for a negative and positive because the factory cable looked a little thin and i didn't think it would handle that and then replaced the primary disconnect with a uh, 2000 amp contactor here. And what this, uh, don't worry, I'm not, it's dead. I'm not gonna get electrocuted. Um, everyone's like, oh, you need to wear 2000 volt gloves and whatever. Yeah, and then no, because you also need to understand the basics of how batteries work. And when they're not in series, um, they're much less lethal. So there is potentially uh, 120 volts between these two points. Um, but that's that's about as big of a spark as I would get right now. Anyway, I removed the factory disconnect and replaced it with this contactor because uh, the fast factory disconnect uh, blew on our last test run. So it's, uh, I think it's like a 300 amp fuse inside here and that's dead. So uh, we went with this method. Um, also, I replaced the factory battery management system with uh, a product from uh, Ziva, Australia, and it's uh, Z-E-V-A dot A-U dot com, um, or dot com dot A-U, or something like that. Anyway, they make a really cool um, battery controller and battery management system because I have to keep all the different cells in balance. And uh, with a lithium battery, uh, some of the cells can discharge at different rates or they can charge at different rates. So each one of these uh, individual units, I have nine units, um, they all talk to the individual cells and make sure that they're in balance. So uh, in each one of these cells, or it's not exact, I forget what the actual makeup is, of this plastic is. Um, but anyway, there's, there's 96 cells total and in each cell, there's three lithium ion pouches. Uh, those are in parallel and then 96 in series. So the designation for this pack is uh, 3P96S. Um, each one of those little cells is uh, 3.7 volts nominal, uh, which gives about 393 volts at full charge. And uh, that's what powers Tesla Honda here. And I'll show you where the battery pack goes. Well, there's a cover for it too. Um, I had to modify the cover this is all fiberglass from the factory. It's like fiberglass infused plastic. Uh, but because I had some bigger humps and gaps and whoop de doos um, I had to make some fiberglass adjustments to it. And it's kind of taped together for now. But anyway, that goes on top of that. And then the whole thing goes underneath here uh, in this channel. So I cut the whole center of the car out, as you can see. And then up front, um, you know, made these brackets where the T area goes, and that's bolted onto uh, onto here, or the front end, and the whole rest of the thing slides back here. Uh, and then going backwards, then I have my high voltage traction cables. So these go to the Tesla drive unit. This communicates to the contactors. Uh, this is CAN bus. And then these are high voltage cables to run um, the charger, or you know, to take charge input, put it into the battery, uh, and also to run the DC-DC converter to give me 12 volts. So that's, that's the battery basics.